All right, let's see what's going on for y'all. I know uh, this full moon that's coming up is going to be in Gemini. We should be entering Gemini in like two days, I believe. I don't know if it, pretty sure. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so you should be feeling kind of empowered, feeling like things are starting to balance out for you. Let's find out. Alright, you've got the love, Hadrian energy, codependency, and boundaries. So, let's dive deeper. I'll, I'll throw some tarot down so we can talk a little bit more in depth about all this. Um, Alright, let's see it. Nine of Wands in reverse. This is kind of refusing to feel like a victim, um, which I really appreciate. I feel it's more that survival energy, right? Like you've been through some shit, but it didn't turn and make you a victim out of you, right? Victims are prey. You're not prey. You're you're very strong. Seven of Cups tells me that you have a lot of options in regards to love. Um, a lot of different suitors, if you will. Um, Eight of Swords tells me there might be something that you don't see quite yet. The Empress in Reverse. And the Three of Wands. Um, the Empress in Reverse. The opposite of the Empress is somebody who is very immature, dramatic, somebody who doesn't show up for you. Um, somebody who doesn't, who has a lot of creative blockages or doesn't tap into their natural talents that much. It's pretty negative, to be honest. Um, with the Three of Wands in reverse, you could have been in a third party situation. Or you could be in the energy of choosing between two people. Um, I want to see what this Eight of Swords is, though. I want to see what it is that you don't see coming or that you're not seeing all right so if you've been in a bad spot or things haven't been working out in your favor for a while i feel like that shit's gonna change we have the wheel of fortune this is what you're not seeing um the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor right things are gonna really start looking up for you um we have the sun it showed up in reverse but there's no reverse meaning for the sun card so there's this energy of um, I mean, that's one of the reasons why the sun card is the best card in the deck. When you get that, it's always a good omen, right? It's, it means, like, abundance and happiness, joy, you know, feeling fulfilled. Um, it's all coming full circle for you, right? With the Wheel of Fortune and the sun card, I, I really like that. It's, it's really positive. We have the Four of Swords, which means that it's time for you to really dive into your self-care, really get the rest that you need. Make sure that you are um, taking it easy, right? It's telling you don't don't be too hard on yourself or don't try to work too hard or, you know, it's, um, it's really challenging you to, um, to be gentle with yourself. So, to relax, go with the flow, right? Don't overthink too much. 
I know that's easy because you're a Gemini, right? Overthinking is the name of the game for you all. But I do see really positive things coming out of this for you. Um, Two of Swords tells me you could be feeling a little guarded, right? Uh, especially if you've dealt with treacherous people in the past. I do feel like there's this energy of trying to protect your heart, right? The Two of Swords is always crossed over the heart, which tells me that it's the energy of trying to protect your heart. Um, being very cautious. Eight of Wands. This is Minor Arcana Chariot card. I feel this energy that you're moving on or moving forward from something that that sucked. <laughs> um, Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're going to receive an offer and it's one that you won't refuse, right? This is something that you will be accepting. Uh, this could also represent being in a state of acceptance, you know, accepting what has happened, accepting, you know, but it's also more so the energy of accepting an offer, accepting, yeah, accepting an offer. The world in reverse, I feel like this is saying that it won't come in though until... Um, until you fully close out a cycle or you're completely done with the past. Um, I feel like there's this energy that you really need to be over the past in order to move into the future. Right? As long as we sit here and romanticize the past, we ain't gonna get nowhere. Um, here. Five of Swords, feeling conflicted, or somebody could be trying to bring conflict into your life. Right? Somebody might not be happy about you moving on. Eight of Cups, exactly. They're mad because you walked away. Because you're walking away. Um, Knight of Wands, I do see. Here's where that offer comes in, right? Right after you walk away, right after you're done with that nonsense, there's this offer. Um, somebody probably confessing a truth to you or, you know, getting good news. We have Queen of Swords, you're an air sign. So this is your card. This is the Queen of Air. And this is saying that you're standing in your power. Um, it also ties into that guarded energy, right? You've got your sword up, your, I would, um, don't be on the defense too much, you know, what the means that you had to, or the traits you had to take on for survival are not necessarily the traits that you take on to thrive, right? Thriving is a whole different ballgame than surviving. Right now you're being called to relax and enjoy life, right? Take it easy. Take it easy. This is a really optimistic reading for you. I really love this. Um, it's funny. I just saw a meme earlier where it's like all the signs. Um, and it, it said that they're all mad at Gemini. Except Aquarius and Pisces weren't on there. And then... Um, and I was like, dude, I feel like Aquariuses are always on your team. <laughs> I'm always looking out for the little Geminis. And I feel like y'all catch way too much hate. When honestly, I've dealt with worse from other signs. Signs that go under the radar, right? <laughs> so, but that's only my personal experience. And I'm also a fellow air sign, so who better to understand you than somebody who's also constantly in their head, right? Um... Six of Swords and Six of Wands. Um, six of Swords is that it goes back to that guarded energy, but it's also the energy of walking away, right? It's also the energy of leaving. It ties into the Eight of Cups, no longer tolerating what you were willing to tolerate before. Six of Wands tells me that you get a lot of attention. This ties into the Seven of Cups. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's hella energy in regards to you getting a lot of recognition or being noticed a lot, having people who admire you. Um, you're kind of an attractive force. So, I do feel that, like, 
I feel like you're realizing that you're just better than what you've tolerated, right? You're making a judgment call with the judgment card coming out. Making a judgment call based on your worst. Two of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're over being, feeling conflicted. Right? You're ready to be more decisive. You're ready to, to really, you know, move forward and put an end, right, with the death card to, um, to anything that feels out of place or not right for your life. I'm going to scoot back so I have room for these cards. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're putting an end to some old cycles, you know, making this judgment call means you're really choosing to, to move forward with a solid answer. Like you're not going backwards. You're over going backwards. Going backwards has never made life easier or better for you. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands in reverse is a King of Lies. So I feel like you're walking away from somebody that you felt was deceptive. Um, somebody that you feel, alright, I see you with the Queen of Swords just like cutting this shit off. Uh, Three of Pentacles in reverse tells me you could have lived with them, worked with them, whatever the case is. And you felt like they were deceptive and you're walking away. Four of Wands in reverse, you could have lived with them, right? This is the home card. This is also the long-term commitment card. And with that being in reverse, I feel like you're letting go of a long-term commitment or walking away from somebody that you lived with. Page of Pentacles, receiving a new offer or opportunity, right? Um, like I said, you're an attractive force. I feel like you attract opportunities pretty easily. Um... King of Cups, this is the opposite of the King of Wands. This is somebody who's very mature, somebody who's tapped into their feelings, somebody who gives a shit, right? This is somebody who's not just tapped into their feelings, but on top of their feelings, right? They don't react, they respond, right? They're the kind of person who is patient, takes their time, somebody who is more in the energy of love than in conflict, right? Like, I feel like... Your last person was very conflicty. Very conflicty. Um. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Swords. Um, this is back to that King of Wands in reverse. You know what? I'm going to put the King of Cups over here because I feel like it's opposite energy. It doesn't fit in. But the King of Pentacles in reverse, this is in the Seven of Swords, right? I already told you King of Wands in reverse is the King of Lies. Seven of Swords is all about deceit. It's all about lying, cheating, stealing, creating illusions. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this is not a very abundant person or this is somebody that makes you feel a sense of lack when you're with them. Like you don't feel it. Like you feel something's missing. You don't feel like it's right. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This is the Minor Arcana Death card, right? This is like really putting an end to a cycle. And putting an end to dealing with somebody who is very treacherous, right? Um, with the Fool, this is embarking on a new journey, right? Taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Um, probably, you're about to experience some shit that you probably never thought you'd ever experience, right? Um, I feel like you're walking into a whole new season. With whole new energies, whole new perspectives. Nine of Swords in reverse. 
I like this. This is healing energy. This is like getting out of your head, not letting yourself like overthink something to death. It's like allowing yourself to process and let go. Five of Cups. Yeah. It's like, I feel like whatever it is that you're letting go of was very emotionally disappointing for you. It just left you feeling drained, unappreciated. Um, kind of like you were just stuck on autopilot for a relationship, you know. Yeah, so we have Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, this is you, right? This is you focusing on your finances, focusing on, like, building yourself up, focusing on getting better at, like, saving them. I feel like that's a big thing. You should really work on trying to put some money aside and so you're not living, like, paycheck to paycheck. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is all about patience, right? This is all about... Um, being even tempered too, like not allowing yourself to, to be triggered into arguments and stupid fights, right? It's like realizing that it's all trivial and it's not even worth fighting anyway. Um, page of Wands in reverse, right? Because it was popped to that way. So Page of Wands in reverse. I do feel that you will be like ending communication with this past person right whoever it is that was trying to bring conflict and chaos into your life um we have the star card aquarius energy and this is indicating that it's a time of feeling full of faith and hope seeing the light in the darkness really being optimistic about what's coming next um very strong energy the chariot in reverse let's see the six of cups in reverse yeah you're not going to be moving on with anybody from your past I feel like anything in the past will be left in the past it's not coming with you um, the magician, yeah, you're, you're taking up a new opportunity here. This, the magician talks about your resourcefulness, right? And it talks about manifesting a new beginning and having all that you need in order to do so. Um, I do feel a lot of energy of you just like really pushing forward into the new. So, let's see. Mantra Shakti. Do not allow negative thoughts or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to express yourself from your heart. Though it may not yet be visible in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul and in time shall manifest in a transformation that heals your inner world and improves your physical life, life circumstances too. Yes. So that is pretty much what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, I do feel that you're in a state of transition, right? And as the full moon enters into Gemini, I feel like there's going to be a lot of self-assessing, right? A lot of feeling um, a sense of uh, it's time to really um, 
to give to yourself, right? To really empower yourself, to, to really embody what it, embody the energy of empowerment, right? So empower others. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys. I'll catch you later.